Hi, and welcome to another adventure with Monroe's for Dogs. On this trip, me and Cody are just up at Loch Lochy to climb to Monroe's. Strawn or Crowley Guinness and Meow Machinga. The Met Office had predicted good weather, however, as you'll see, we didn't exactly get the best weather on the summits. But at least we didn't get rained on. As you can see, the walk in is actually not too bad. At the start, there is a lot of kind of construction work and building sites going on, so just be aware of that. But once you get past them, it just looks like this in the trees. Decent track for the walk in. So eventually you will see a sign that says about uh, turning right for the local Monroe's. This is the track here. Looks like someone's tried to erect a little barricade. Not sure why. Just watch this bit, there's a lot of fell and trees in here. As you can see, the terrain's a bit different from the walk-in but it's nothing too bad Once you're at the forest, you then get this kind of stony track taking you up in between the two main rows There's a lot of water on the way for your dogs and that's considering it's been quite dry up here for a week or so. But so far, good going. Cody's having a, bat, a ball, as usual. Me and Cody just left the Bilak in between the two Monroes. Good to see there. We've chosen to come up the uh, the right hand Monroe. Looks like both of them have got a decent track that goes up. I think the right hand's got a better track than the left. It's really up to you which way you want to go. We're getting hit with some wind and some clouds blowing in, so I'm hoping that the, uh, the right hand, the right hand one gets cleared before the left one does. But we'll see what happens when I get up there. Did spot some a uh, couple of sheep just before the belak, so I'll put Cody attached to me on the lead just in case. It's been no livestock at all, apart from those ran random sheep. Get to the top. As you can see, we're up in the clag. It's a shame. We're hoping for better, better views today. A 
Root up slope too bad. It's zigzaggy. Looks like it's plateauing out a little bit here. Small kern. Just helping indicate the way you go. Once we got to about 15 minutes from the summit, we were getting hit with severe high winds, probably in the region of about 50 miles per hour. This is not the weather that uh, the Met Office had predicted for me that day. But we pushed on as the summit is just one big plateau. Yeah. Just be aware there are some drops to the northeast side of the summit. As you can imagine, we didn't hang out long on the summit, got our photos, did what we need to do, and started heading straight back down. Look at me, Cody. Cody! Cody, look! Treat! Right, so we've just had a bit of lunch at the Belak in between and now we're heading to the next summit. Hopefully the wind's a lot better on this one. You'll probably see in the video that it's uh, pretty gusty. I think it was probably about 50 mile an hour winds that we're getting hit with. Just at the top, I think it was the last 20 minutes. So not too bad. Hopefully uh, this one's not the same. But we'll see as we get higher. The tracks heading for the next Monroe are pretty good as well. They do start out a little bit boggy and muddy, but as you get higher, they do get a lot better, as you can see in the video. So far the route to the second one isn't actually that bad. Decent track. Not too bad gradient, a little bit steep once you start. Then it kind of eases up. And then, I think we're on the final push now. So again, it's a little bit steeper. Hopefully that means we'll get to the top a lot faster. still on the clag. Cody's doing good. The weather's teasing us, so hoping we get a little bit of a view once we get to the top of this one. But we'll find out soon. It's amazing how different the weather can be on each summit, even though they're not that far away from each other. And I know from speaking to people as I was heading down from this summit that the other side was still blowing a gale at 50 mile an hour. And 
here we are approaching the second summit of the day. We did get a little bit of a view as we headed towards the summit, but once we got there, it kind of clouded over again. But at least we got to see something. Despite the weather not being what we expected, we still had a great day and we got two more Monroes in the bag. And there's nothing overly difficult about these two Monroes, they're actually really good despite the high winds that we got on one of the summits. And then wouldn't you know it, on the way down everything just brightened up and the sky became clear. Because of course it did, because this is the Scottish Monroes where anything can happen and everything can happen. Overall, good walk in good walk out, nothing too difficult on either of the two Monroes. They could also be good beginner Monroes as well. And you also get to see a little bit of the Great Glen Way. The only real downside of these Monroes is there is a lot of construction work and the parking isn't particularly great at the time I went. However, once all the work's done, it should be a lot better for you. like to thank you for joining us please like share and subscribe and we'll see you on our next adventure <laughs>